simulator is going to come in this hard carrot case. That's going to include a manual, a base station, an AC adapter to charge the internal battery, two interlock connectors, the standard 61004-2 discharge network, a discharge pistol, its cradle, and also a contact and air discharge tip with a discharge fear for your bigger EUTs. Now I'm going to install the ground cable onto the back of the base station. Now I'm going to connect the pistol's interface cable to the base station and tie down with thumb screws. Now I'm going to attach the airlock output connector to this port and the airlock input connector to this port. Now that the two interlock connectors are installed, I'm going to press the power on button followed by the interlock button. As soon as the self-calibration is complete, the home screen will be displayed. From here, you can manually change certain settings, such as output voltage, which I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. I'm going to select 15 kV, press this button, and type in 30 to change the output to 30,000 volts. I can also change the counter by pressing the local button and turning the pre-counter from on to off or vice versa. You can also change the repetition rate by pressing this button and scrolling either up or down. I'm going to leave it at 20 hertz. From this home menu, you can also select different IEC or automotive test sequences by pressing the level button and selecting through the different standards. For our example, I'm going to show you guys a test on a computer board at 30,000 volts. Now that I set the simulator to output 30,000 volts and I have the air discharge tip installed, I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like on a simulated EUT. I'm going to show you guys how that looks like on a board which I already grounded. What I'm going to do is pull down the trigger and slowly lower the pistol until you see arcing. As you can see here, the pistol counted 87 discharges. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to change out the air discharge tip for the contact discharge tip and also switch the 61004-2 network to one of the automotive networks. The first thing I'm going to do is power off the device by pressing the power on button. Next, I'm going to twist the air discharge tip and slide the contact tip right in here. Now I'm going to pop open this lid and install the other discharge network. Here's actually one of the ways we calibrate our ESD simulators. Right here you have a Faraday cage with an ESD target installed, an attenuator, and a really fast oscilloscope. Currently our NSG 438 is set to discharge 20 times at 20 times per second. The oscilloscope averaged out the 20 discharges and we can actually measure the peak amplitude, the rise time, and the fall time.